We are going to discuss about short term versus long term capital gains. So, for example, if you have if you are having some asset, capital asset, and if you are trying to sell that asset, if you are gaining some amount from that uh, from that sale, then that would be treated as a capital gains. And then we need to differentiate that capital gain as short term capital gain or long term capital gain. For that, we need to understand the differences between short term capital gain and long term capital gain i have taken these differences from the official website of the income tax department of india so here generally any asset that is sold before 36 months will be treated as a short term capital gain but there are some exceptions so the exceptions are in respect of certain assets like shares which are listed in recognized stock exchange in india for example, if you are trying to buy SBA stock from NSE or BSE and if you are trying to sell those stocks within a year, so within 24, sorry, within 12 months, then that would be treated as short term capital gain. And suppose, suppose if you are uh, selling those SBA stocks, SBA shares after 12 months means the gains that you got from that sale is, uh, sale would be considered as a long term capital gain. So there is the first exception. And then units of equity or into mutual funds. This the duration for this would be also 12 months. And similarly, listed securities like debentures and government securities, units of UTA and zero coupon bonds, the period of holding would be considered as 12 months instead of 36 months. So this is the first exception. And the second exception would be 24 months instead of 36 months. So the categories that falls under 24 months are immovable property being land or uh, building or both and then unlisted shares of a company for example if suppose if you are buying a share from a share of a company which is not listed in the stock exchange uh, recognize the stock exchange then the uh, duration would be 24 months for treating it as a short term capital gains Similarly, if suppose if you are buying a land and if you are trying to sell that land within 24 months, then that would be treated as a short time capital gain. So this is these are the categories: 12 months, 24 months, and then 36 months. So anything above than uh, that uh, specified duration would be treated as long term capital gain. So for short term capital gain, there is some tax percentage, and for long term capital uh, capital gain, there is some procedure to uh, calculate the tax. We will try to cover those things in a detailed manner in the upcoming videos. So far.